Hey, welcome back to the channel, Skyrim, and part two of Discerning the Transmundane. Okay, so we've been down to Liar's Retreat, uh, had a bit of a scrap there, picked up some decent stuff, um, uh, long hammer and the tavern's made uh, outfit. Uh, now, one last little bit of blood we need is a Thalma blood. So I've decided to come to the embassy. Now, my original plan was to sneak in, uh, take out one of the guards, and then sneak out. Um, but as usual, all good plans go awry, and uh, I just started a war. And um, yeah, we want to see absolute chaos and how <laughs> I can get it so wrong. Um, just carry on watching. Anyway, sneaking in, I saw a nice little thermal wizard there, and I thought, yeah, I'll have him. I should have known it would have been that easy. Now what I should have done here was left uh, Jennifer and everybody outside and come and done this on my own. But I thought, I hate these bastards so much, let's kill them. <laughs> I can't help myself. And I wasn't set up already for it, so it all went, um, yeah, it got a bit chaotic. Uh, Shadowmere's piling in as well. Now this in itself shouldn't have been too much of a bother. Uh, now the issue was, not actually dealing with them once I um, decided to attack, is they were hidden behind walls and I couldn't get to them. So always bear in mind that if you uh, if you want to do the same thing. Oh, Shadowmere's taking a good pounding as well, and also getting caught by the uh, the arrow clipping uh, glitch in Skyrim. So I thought maybe uh, pop in here, see if I'm getting behind them. Need the key, and I thought I had the key, but obviously not. So let's pop the boys in. Uh, in 2020 hindsight, I should have brought in um, Storm Atronax or um, Frost Atronax to deal with these guys. Actually, Flame Atronax would have done quite nicely as well. Anyway, let's quickly go over and give Shadow Mirror a hand. Come, boys, get a bit crowded in here. Get the pass. Come on, let me get past. Okay. Good night. Okay, poor Shadow Me is really getting it. I can't see another way of getting to these guys up there. I've got an arrow in the head. You can see I hadn't really planned this. But I did find a way of dealing with them. Fire through the fence. That's one down. Now what I'm using is the two little red dots to sight them. That's another one. That's another one gone. And can I get... Him? That's it. All done. Yeah, so using those red dots um, for uh, aiming at was uh, quite effective. So anyway, let's get his blood. That's what we come here for. And we can do a little bit of uh, looting as well. No, I'm not sure what level it is. I think it's level 30 uh, before you start getting the glass armour. So, depending on how much money you've got, then um, it's worth picking up.
Okay. That's it. Job done. Let's go home. There's a good horse, Shadow Mare. Good horse. Yeah, good Shadow Mare. Good Shadow Mare. And I'm going to be putting together a hit squad, uh, which is going to be quite funny. Completely overpowered, which I might use in the um, Civil War quest. So anyway, let's go back and see Cygnus. Actually, I might go back to the embassy and just wipe them all out. That should go in the front door. I think some of them are essential. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I've brought you the blood you require. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture. Okay, so he's obviously mixing all the uh, the blood. I don't know exactly what that's doing. But I'm guessing this is kind of some kind of Dwemer safe or storage system, and this is what he wants. And that's it, he's uh, he's dead. So we can take his stuff. So never trust a Daedric Prince, guys. So, take the uh, Ogma Infinitum, or Infinium, Come and you speak to champion. Hermoris Mora. And I'm not your champion you monster. Protected you on your journey to open the box and loose my knowledge on this world. Your free will is an illusion. Whether you acknowledge me or not is your own business, but I will be in your mind. Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages, as revealed to Sarsis, my loyal servant. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. Okay, that's uh, completed discerning the Transmudane. So, a little bit more about uh, the book. Okay, so going by the wiki here, the Ogmus Infinium uh, is a pay powerful Daedric artifact belonging to the Daedric Prince Hermaeus Mora. It's an ancient tome of knowledge written by Xarsis. The Wizard Sage and Scribe, also known as the Aegis One. The Ogma Infin Infinium is given to Humorus Myra's champion upon completion of a specific task or quest. Once read, it disappears, returned to Hermaeus Morus realm in oblivion. Okay, now when, as far as we're concerned, when the book is read, only one of three paths may be chosen. After reading the book, the option to choose a path will not be given again. The Path of Might, which adds plus five to each of Heavy Armour, One-Handed, Smithing, Two-Handed, Archery and Block. Path of Shadow, plus five to each, Light Armour, Speech, Pickpocket, Alchemy, Sneak, Lockpicking. Path of Magic, plus five to each, Destruction, Restoration, Conjuration, Illusion, Alteration and Enchanting. So, to be honest with you, it really is worth coming at level 15, because plus five to each is quite good. Um, and skill levels attained from using the book contribute towards level gain. 
uh, as if your skills have been tamed by any regular means. Um, so it's easy levelling for uh, most characters, especially early on. Now, handily for me, uh, or any other players actually looking to build a library, um, dro dropping the book after using it, instead of closing your inventory, uh, could mean that you can pick it up um, and it doesn't disappear, so you can actually put it in your library. So that's good. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed that. This is a fun little side quest um, with Life of Treat and, um, you know, beating up on the Thalma, which is always a good thing. So uh, great, and it's a very useful um, reward at the end of it. So hope you enjoyed it, and uh, later, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.